How's it going everybody? My name is Doge and today I have another drag race video for you guys starting with a engine in an, in the Tesla for some reason. Then we got an Audi S6 from the 2022 generation. Then we got the new uh not the facelifted but like the new Rolls-Royce Phantom. Then we, then we got the new Cadillac CT6. Then we got the new Cadillac CT5 which is what I'm in. And then we got the Kidney Nose new 2023 G80 M3 and then we got a 2012 Lexus ISF. Let's start with the specs. Okay, starting with Fair's Tesla engine thing. Tell us about your car, Fair. All right, so as you can see, Doge got it wrong, like he always gets everything wrong. But anyways, I'm going to tell you about this. So I'm set in a Tesla body but it has a different chassis. This is actually gas powered Tesla. This is a gas powered Tesla. Now it has a Tesla body, but under the hood is a 765 horsepower supercharged LS3, making around, as I said, the power and around 650 pound feet of torque. This runs on a eight speed automatic gearbox, rear wheel drive, and uh, this thing costs around like $160 to uh, make. Kaijo, can you dub over Selena's specs for her Audi S6? Yes, okay, so Selena has a 2021 Audi S6 with a 2.9 V6 twin turbo, make a 444 horsepower, 443 pound feet of torque, and an eight speed automatic, and it's got all wheel drive. All right, speaking of Kaijo, now back to you. Tell us about your Phantom. Okay, uh, so my Phantom is a 6.7 V12, making 563 horsepower. It's twin turbo, and it's got, I think, 640 pound-feet of torque. They never told me, but it's rear-wheel drive, and it's also an 8-speed as well. All right, now Fennec, tell us about your CT6. This beautiful uh, CT6 it weighs 4,480 pounds. It's going to be a 2020 Cadillac CT6 V. It's running a 4.2 liter Blackwing V8, pushing out 550 horsepower with 640 pound-feet of torque. And this is mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. All right, now for my CT5, this is this is this is probably the least power. So it has a three-liter twin-turbo V6, making it around 360 horsepower and 385 pound-feet of torque, and it's powered by the rear wheels, followed by a 10-speed automatic. And now for Jug's G80 M3, tell us about yours. My 2021 BMW G80 M3. It has a three-liter twin-turbo inline six, making 503 horsepower, paired with an eight-speed automatic transmission that takes it from 0 to 16 3.8 seconds and it weighs 3890 pounds all right now steve finally tell us about your 2012 lexus isf that is fucking wrong it's a 2008 lexus isf not a 2012 and it has a 5 liter v8 with 416 horsepower and 375 pound feet of torque made it to a eight speed automatic transmission all right thank you so much for that now we can finally begin the first race as usual guys we're gonna do two races both in each direction then we're gonna do a braking test and then we're gonna do the usual roll race so yeah guys let's get started all right now before we race we're just gonna do the obituary with the obituary sound check so fair go ahead and start up your the tesla thingy it was a bit All right, now Selena, start up and rev your Audi S6. All right, now Kaijo, go ahead and start up and rev your 6.5 liter V12, I think. Thank you for that. Now, Fennec, start up and rev your CT6. <coughs> All right, now for my CT5. <coughs> Okay. 
Alright, now Jug, start up and rev your M3 for us. Alright, now finally, Steve, give us the rev of your 2008 ISF. Alright, is everybody ready to begin the first race? Alright, well since everybody's revving up their engines, I assume everybody's ready, so... I'm gonna count it in. Three, two, one, go! As usual, I'm getting absolutely smashed by everyone. Well, I'm... Well, the only real, real person I'm technically beating is uh, the Rolls Royce. Ugh, this 10 speed automatic is so slow. Alright, well, who's up for round two, guys? That was a quick one. Quick. My launch control failed me. Real. Oh, yeah, I forgot this thing oh, has launch. Eye. I forgot this thing has launch control as well. I'm gonna use that in the second race. Alright, so, so. all right, la right, launch control Take activated. Alright, is everybody ready? No. Yes, let's go. Alright, I'll call it in at three. Two, one, go. It seems that the G80 is is most likely taking the lead, along with the. Oh yeah, it's not a, it's not even a close race between the Tesla and the um, uh, G80. As as the CT6 passes me, surprising surprising, it has 550 horsepower. It only passes me now. And yeah, they as, get a good car. And as usual, the Rolls Royce was the slowest, being that it's the heaviest car here. Alright, now let's begin with the 60 miles per hour braking test. Alright, so as per usual, Fair has built his usual emergency line that basically signifies that this is the braking line for everybody else out there. And as usual, people are going to break, and we're going to see who has the best brakes. Let's go. Alright, now Fair is up first with his braking test. He's going to brake from 60 miles an hour in his LS3 powered Tesla for some reason. I don't know why that even exists. Anyway, um, alright, he's going to break the line any second now. Very nice brakes. Alright, now next up is the Audi S6 with Selena as the driver. Alright, now up up next is Selena with her Audi S6. I'm pretty sure this is, this will have better brakes because it's lighter. But anyway, she's gonna break. She he is also gonna break from 60. Oh, I think her AEB activated. Uh, do you want to do that again, Selena? I think your AEB activated. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're trying this again. Selena's gonna Selena's gonna break from his Audi A6 at 60. I think this might win because this is the lightest vehicle here, from my knowledge, and it has the smallest engine. So <laughs> let's find out here. Oof! I was wrong. It definitely has worse brakes than the Tesla. All right, next up is the Rolls Royce. From my knowledge, I can't really see from over there, but anyway. All right, now I have very low. I have very low expectations for the Rolls Royce here, since it is the heaviest vehicle with the biggest engine, and it has the most amount of torque, meaning that it's not going to have very good brakes. Um, <laughs> but let's see anyway. What? Wow. GV tooting? GV tooting? So real? Realist of the real? I did I did not expect to have this to have better brakes than the lightest vehicle in like that. So anyway, who's next? Alright, now Fennec is gonna break from 60 with his CT6 V. I have very high ex I don't really have very high expectations for this. It's also a very big vehicle. What? It has better brakes than the Tesla? Real? Alright, now I think I'm up next with my Cadillac. 
CT5 that's very visible over there. So I think I made a mistake here. The ISF was actually next and I'm after the ISF. All right, so he's going to break at 60 with his rear wheel drive 4.8 liter. It's a 5 liter V8. I don't, I don't care. All right, anyway. Fuck you. <laughs> It has the it, oh, it's a very close battle between the Tesla rolls and the and your ISF so far. All right, now now then it's then it's me and then finally it's Jugs. So now I'm gonna break. All right, now my Cadillac CT5 is gonna break from the same speed as usual. Again, mine is mine has the mine has the second smallest engine. It's a very close battle between the rolls ISF. Tesla and me so far but but so far the CT6 is unexpectedly the best braking now we have yet to see Jugs G80 M3 which is totally visible from the outside <laughs> all right now finally Jugs gonna break from his 60 miles an hour in his G80 M3 with the kidney grills I don't care what you say they're gross all right anyway he's gonna break in any second now no test no liver He has, oh man, it's a close battle between the CT6, but according to my knowledge, this has the exact same brakes, but who really won though? Who really won? This piece of yeah, shit. yeah, the CT6 won. The CT6 won the braking test. The CT6 wins. All right. Now we're going to do a rolling race from, from, from 40 miles an hour. It's ready. All right. Everybody's Let's ready. Go. Yep. Yes. Yeah. All right. Three. Two, one, go! Come on, three liter! Come on, Tesra. I know oh, you're was, doing oh, quality shit, but Even you can the do Audi's it. Audi's beating me. And as usual, the... The buddy was though, sick. Though, though objectively the best car here, supposedly to Kaijo's word, he still lost to a Cadillac. Damn. He still Wait, lost to a, he lost to a jam, he, he lost to a damn General Motors. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This was such a hassle to put together. I'm glad you, I'm glad if you guys enjoyed it. And, and if you, if, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and I will be, uh, as I will be uploading a lot more often. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye and have a great rest of your day.